friends, we are heading out to go do some errands and a little bit of book shopping. So I figured I would take you along with me. Yes, yes, I live in Canada, so it's already cold. So we have a whole fall outfit on. I feel like this is like a winter outfit to a lot of people, but like this would not keep me warm. You can literally see the frost melting off my car. It didn't rain, that's just frost. Grande iced white chocolate mocha. Can I get that half sweet and then add pumpkin cream cold foam on top? Let's try it. Very pumpkin-y actually. Next chapters of the trip. I will probably go to another one after this because I have no chill, but let's go check it out. First thing I see when I walk in is this spooky season display and I have to say I loved it. There's so many good books on here. Camp Damascus, Lexi just recommended to me, so I definitely checked that one out. I had no idea what it was about and I just thought it was kind of fate that I saw it right here. But like also look at the Mayfly cover, I literally love this so much, it's so good. The first binding, the paperback is out now and this looks a lot smaller in paperback than it does in hardcover, which is really good because the hardcover is really long. I do really want to read this. I'm kind of obsessed with the way the Terry Pratchett spines all look together. So freaking pretty. It makes me want to read Terry Pratchett. I've seen Starling House everywhere, so the hype is making me want to read it, but I'm not sure this is a book for me, so I think I'm gonna wait until some reviews come out, maybe? Every time I see the new Assassin Apprentice copies that are bigger with the UK cover, I think maybe I should restart my collection and sell all the UK copies, but no, I shouldn't, Cassie. You should not do that. I spotted a House of Hunger paperback. I've been waiting for this to come out for so long. This comes with such a good recommendation from Kaylee. It really annoys me that the first book in this series is shiny, but then the second book is matte. Like, why do publishers have to do this to me? I really don't like it. Ugh. The second book in the Sand series by Hugh Howie is now out in paperback. I really need to get to this. Then I took a look at their top sci-fi and fantasy table. It's what you would expect, but it is quite big, which I really enjoy and I saw the wheel of the many on it which is top tier fantasy. I love that the horror section had a little red balloon going on it and I just kind of let you browse around while I also browsed. I checked out the handyman method. This was actually one of the picture lights out book club that could have gotten picked for the month I was in and I'm thinking about getting it. I'm also drowning out a little bit because they're playing really good music. I have no idea what this book is but the cover just really sucked me and it looks so creepy and so cool more dancing because this chapter's plays literally the best tunes in the entire world. Of course I had to look at the September house. I feel like this is all over the place. I'm seeing it everywhere. It's someone said it was quirky so I'm a little scared of it but also really excited. I do love a good haunted house story and I really like this cover. The rituals cover is just so cool. Like it looks so fall yet spooky to me. It looks like a movie that I would love to watch so probably a book I would also love to read. And then we had a little YA display. I really enjoy at this chapter so I think they do a really good job at them. Into the YA section, this slasher really caught my eye. I do love a YA slasher. And I think the cover for this was cool. It kind of reminds me of my best friend's exorcism vibes. Honestly, the YA covers were just really killing it. So many were catching my eye. This one just caught my eye. I didn't even look at what was on the back, but both of these covers just really caught my eye. I really liked them. Like, that looks cool. Divine Rivals, I had to check out because it's all over the place. And I mean, who doesn't want to fall in love with their characters? Again, YA covers are just killing it. Same with this one. This one really grabbed my attention and it actually sounds like a really cool premise as well. I'm really intrigued by this one. Four survivors, one grave mistake. Count me in. I am actually at the next chapters already because there was construction happening at the first one. I always go to two when I go book shopping. There's two close to my house. It works really well. I only got two books in the last one out of all of that. I ended up picking up House of Hunger. I've been waiting for the paperback. I actually plan on reading this this month. I'm really excited. It comes with like high praise from Kaylee, Kaylee's books, and I'm really excited to get to this. It's for a vampire vlog. And then I picked up Last Girl Standing. I love Clown in the Cornfield. And I also really enjoyed their Someone Watching You. Oh my God, it's that pink cover. What is it called? I'm gonna pop it up here if I remember. So I think that YA horror really works for me, specifically YA slashers of some sort. So I have 
Sav's Book Club, The Lights Out Book Club pick to read, but I also picked this one up. She tastes like sugar the first time they kissed. She tasted like blood the next. This follows Cherry and Sloane, who met only a few days ago before masked men with machetes attacked their summer camp. Massacre that left the rest of them dead, but now months later the two are inseparable. Their traumatic experience bonding them in ways no one else can understand, but as new evidence comes to light and Sloane learns more about the motives behind the ritual killing that brought them together, she begins to suspect that her girlfriend may have more to do with it than being just a survivor. I also really love this cover. I think I will say it in the voiceover, but I think the YA covers right now are popping off. I'm really enjoying them. So many caught my attention. It'll be interesting to see if this chapters, it does the same thing. So I find the last chapters that I went to, they have a really big YA section. Whoever shelves that chapters, I think does it really, really well in my opinion. They always have good tables out. They always have a lot of books for face Front. They like really catch my attention in a lot of ways, but they always have a decent amount of YA, I think. And then also they have a decent amount of indie. This one isn't typically like that one. So we will see how this one goes. Let's go. The first thing I do is always check out this diversity shelf that they have. I think this display is really incredible. They always swap it out. And then I walk by these tables on the way to the horror section. So I just figured I'd check them out. I was impressed that the sci-fi and fantasy felt very different than the sci-fi and fantasy table at the last chapter. Then we reached the horror section. This is a small horror section, but still like bigger than it used to be. And I've been really loving how much less Stephen King is taking up in it. The stowaway Kaylee, Lexi, and Mel all enjoyed. So I'm thinking about it. And then I came across this short story collection that looks really cool. I really like this cover. And there's another short story collection. This one was all about horror from black authors. I thought this looked really good as well. And the cover actually had some texture on it. It felt really cool. I am also trying to like become a short story girly. So I'm definitely checking out more short stories than I normally would. This was a dark academia short story collection. This cover was really stunning with like the gold foil on it. I'm very curious about all three of these. Then I picked up this book called The Whistling. I don't remember, but I read something in the synopsis that I did like, which is why you kind of get this funny face at the end. Oops. The Night's Edge, I know that Deb just gave four stars. This sounded really intriguing to me. I also love the tone of this cover. And then into the YA section, and look at this cover. Tell me that YA covers are not just smashing it. Like, this is so creepy and cool. Same with this one, another YA horror. It looks really good to me. And someone please just talk me out of reading The Midnight Kingdom. I did not enjoy City of Dust, but something about this series is just calling to me. Okay, I picked up two more books at that one. That one, it was just a lot of the same books. It wasn't a lot of new ones, but I did have a couple things that I looked at that were new, but this one I did look at in the last one. I ended up picking up Camp Damascus by Chuck Tingle. This was recommended to me, kind of, by Lexi a couple days ago, so I'm excited to try it. It sounds like I read like the first page of this while I was in the store and I liked the writing style. It's really short. I think I could enjoy it, so. I apparently have like a camp vibe going. And then I also picked up a short story collection. I don't typically like to pay this much money for short story collections because I'm just starting to learn to like them. I just don't prioritize them, which is a problem. I actually have a couple at home that I want to read, but I want to learn to like prioritize reading a story every like month or something because I like short stories I've learned. Like I really do. So I'm excited for this one. It'll help me, I think, figure out my horror taste as I'm not quite sure what I like in horror yet. And I think like having a bunch of short stories and a bunch of different authors with different writing styles and stuff will really help me. Again, I read like the intro to this and I thought that sounded good and cool. It's about 29 Tales of Monsters and the Monstrous. The only author I think I know that I've actually read from before, I've read from Stephen Graham Jones, which I don't love his writing, and I've read from Cassandra Kaw, who I also didn't love their writing, but everyone else is like brand new to me and that'll be exciting. I'm hoping maybe in my vlog for horror, maybe I can read like a chapter every night or something that would work really well it is a big boy but i also think the cover and specifically the spine is stunning it really spoke to me so there are my four books for this come book shopping with me video thank you so much for hanging out i think my tire has a slow leak in it so i need to go home and stop driving it and tell nick to come patch it up for me because that's why you have boyfriends that are handy so you don't have to pay ridiculous amounts of money that's smart thinking if you made it all the way to the end of this video and you like to leave me an emoji just to say you were here, leave me a tree emoji. A good old tree. And then if you'd like to connect with me on other platforms, my books are on my book, Twitter, my Goodreads, and my Patreon, all linked in the description bar below. Have yourselves an absolutely remarkable day.